Journals to the All Will Know Me. Um, the fly I'm going to demonstrate tonight is called a Bar Boo Face. Um, it is a streamer. It was developed by John Barr of, uh, of Colorado. Um, he's responsible for quite a few patterns. Uh, here of uh, Copper John. Uh, Copper John is uh, one of uh, John Barr's flies that he developed uh, some 15 or so years ago. Um, the materials that we're going to be using uh, to tie this fly are relatively simple. We've got some red flash, which uh, is chosen because we're using uh, olive uh, materials. We've got a piece of olive pine squirrel zonker, not rabbit fur zonker, but pine squirrel zonker. And we've got a, a uh, marabou feather. The, the kind of marabou that you want is one that is very full. You don't want a marabou which is, which is thin and spindly like this one is. Got that? Mm -hmm. Okay. We want something that's full. Use black, black uh, thread. We use uh, olive thread. Uh, we use a bead head and an R, a 200R Tiemco hook. Now, one of the things that I like about, uh, about the boo face is that uh, I like flies that I can modify, um, that I can change the colors on. I can change the length of the, the materials. Uh, I just, I like the advantage of being able to change things around. Uh, with the boot face, you can use uh, any myriad of colors. You can have, uh, uh, we're gonna have one where we use natural rabbit fur here a little bit later with a white uh, uh, marabou. You could just as soon use uh, uh, a gray marabou or a black marabou. Uh, so there's all sorts of different uh, concoctions that you can work up with this. So we're going to start off with, we put the bead on the, on the hook and we're going to wrap the thread around and we're going to take the thread back to the, the barb of the hook. And we're going to stop there at the barb of the hook, trim our excess thread off. One of the things when you're working with, with uh, marabou and or zonkers is it's good to have a little cup of water because you want to be able to wet these materials down a little bit and they handle so much better when they're just a little bit damp. So what we're going to do with this, this um, take the short zonker here, um, with the zonker is we're going to, comb the hair to and fro so that we have a tail and then the rest of it goes up over the shank of the hook. Now we'll want to tie this down very tightly because we don't want this to twist on the hook. Okay. So you want to pull that hair back, take the thread up to right behind the bead, take that zonker strip, pull it down, pull it down very tight so that it doesn't twist. Take a couple of wraps of, of thread, make sure it's good and tight. Because like I say, you don't want the, the zonker to twist on the hook. You trim it off. The next thing that we'll add to it is the red flash. Again, it, the red flash is not written in stone. If you wanted to use uh, some other kind, if you wanted to use gold, that would, that would be good. One of the other things that you can do with, uh, with this fly is if you want to take some uh, tinsel. And before you start putting the the zonker on, uh, wrap tinsel on the, uh, the hook shank. And by wrapping tinsel on the hook shank, that gives it just a little bit of flash when it moves through the water. So you might want to consider doing that. So we take a few wraps to bind down all the loose 
hair that we have here. We're going to take this, this marabou and we're going to cut off the side flumes off of the marabou. Now don't, don't lose them, just keep them tied together. Again, a little bit of water goes a long ways when you're, when you're trying to, to manipulate marabou. Place one bunch on one side of the hook. Tie it in. Take another bunch of marabou. Tie it in on the other side of the hook. tie down all the, the loose ends up by the, uh, by the bead. And here comes some of the things that you can change. The pattern calls for taking some of the, the hair off of the zonker and, and dubbing, a, dubbing the head with that. Um, I've got some examples of of different things that you could do. You take and have a black, black zonker with a crystal flash yellow head. That would be one thing that you could do with it. Here's black with a blue head. Blue is a is a uh, an attractive uh, strike uh, color. Uh, we've got some other other ones here. Here's one with a with a natural rabbit tail with with black marabou. Um, you could tie it up with uh, with crystal chenille. Make a head out of crystal chenille. That's something else that you could add to it if you wanted to. But we're going to do like John Barr says, and we're going to use a little bit of the the squirrel tail as dubbing. You just cut a little bit off. I always like to get a little bit of dubbing wax. And we want to use the hair that's still got the, uh, the guard hair in it, the spiky guard hair. Just wrap around until we got a neat looking head. Finish off the head with a whip finish. Come back, trim the uh, the flash until it's a good length, and that's a bar's boo face. It's extremely effective streamer. It can be fished very very slow. It's just like a limp dish rag. You can see that the the uh, Pine squirrel zonker is just as soft. One of the perhaps the most effective ways to fish this is to is to cast it out, let it sink to where to the desired depth that you want it, and then as you're stripping it in, strip it in about six inches, and then squeeze the rod handle, and then wait. Give it ten seconds, fifteen seconds, pull it in another six inches, a foot. Squeeze the rod handle again. I had a guide to show me that you don't need to sit there and jig the rod up and down because with the length of your rod, 
and the length of the line you have out, all you've got to do is just squeeze the rod and it'll move your fly maybe six to 12 inches. So it doesn't require a whole lot of movement. Can cut down on the number of casts that you have to make during the day. So if you're throwing a, throwing a big one, uh, a big uh, boo face, that might be a little easier on your arm. It's good for bass. Oh, one thing else you can do is you can forget about putting a weight on it altogether. You put it up without a weight, it's virtually a surface lure. It'll only, it'll only sink down maybe four to six inches in the water. So you might have something that, uh, you know, you can throw it up next to the cattails and then just ease it across the top of the cattails. Um, any, any, any of these flies, any combination, they're good for bass, they're good for uh, big browns, big browns like a, uh, like a blue face. And like I said, they're extremely, extremely good movement in the water with them. Bars blue face.